Good morning, students. Welcome to the third part of coordinate geometry. In this session, we'll derive the distance formula. In part one, we have learned how to find the distance between two points, which are either on x-axis or on any line parallel to x-axis. And in part two, we have learned how to find the distance between two points, which are on either y-axis or any line parallel to y-axis. So let us recollect the concept once again. So when you have two points like this and when you join them, if you get a line parallel to x-axis, what is the formula to calculate the distance between them? Exactly. You have to use the formula as modulus of x2 minus x1 because their y-coordinates are equal. And when you have this case, like when you join the two points, you get a line parallel to y-axis. Then how do we calculate the distance between these two points? Right. So to calculate the distance between such points, you have to find the form, you have to use the formula which is modulus of y2 minus y1. So when the x coordinates of two points are equal, the formula you have to use is the difference of y coordinates. And when y coordinates are equal, you have to find the difference of the x coordinate. And you should not forget to take the absolute value of this difference. Now in this class, we will learn to find the distance between two points anywhere on this coordinate plane. Right? For example, you take this case. Suppose four students are practicing football and their coach has given them an assignment like in 10 seconds, he will check how much distance they have traveled and there are four students. So they have, they will do it one by one. So in this case, the first student has kicked this football and he has traveled the distance this and then the second student has started and then he kicked this ball and he has actually traveled a distance which is shown in the red color and in the third case he has kicked the ball like this and the distance covered is in yellow and in the fourth case he has kicked the ball like this and the distance traveled is shown in the green color. So they all have been given equal time, interval equal time to play this football and by just looking at this, which color student has traveled more distance? Yes, red one. Now if you want to know the distance from his initial position to the final position, how do you calculate? Because as you see, the rays are parallel to the x-axis, which is horizontal and how do we calculate the distance between them? Exactly. You have to find the difference of the x coordinates because their y coordinates are equal and in this case now they have to travel in the direction of y so just like in the previous case this is the first one and this is shown in the blue color and in the second case the distance traveled by the second person is shown in the red color and this is the third case the third boy he kicked the ball and the distance traveled by him is shown in the green color and the fourth one is shown in the yellow color just by looking at this which boy has traveled which boy has kicked the ball more yes yellow color line is longer now if you want to know the distance between their initial position to the final position that is the distance traveled by them what is the formula you have to make use of yes you have to find the difference of their y coordinates because these rays are parallel to the y axis so but in general when a boy is playing in the ground he always does not travel either in a line parallel to the x-axis or in a line parallel to the y-axis. He travels in a zigzag manner. So this is the formula you have to use. Now suppose he alone traveling, I mean practicing the football like this. Now this is the first, this is the first direction in which he traveled. Then it, uh, he kicked the ball in the other direction and this is shown in the red color. And from there he kicked the ball in the other direction which is shown in this green color. So these are the distances he is, he is traveling from one place to another in the ground. He is, he is traveling freely. Now if you want to calculate the distance between his positions from 1, 2, 3 and so on. That is you have to find the length of this yellow, I mean this blue ray or this red one or this green one. We cannot use the formulas absolute value of x2 minus x1 or absolute value of y2 minus y1 because their x coordinates and y coordinates will be different. As you see. These lines are neither parallel to the x-axis nor parallel to the y-axis. So we have to derive a formula in general to calculate the distance between two points anywhere 
in the coordinate plane. Now I have plotted some points here. Now if you want, now these are joined randomly. So now you have to find the distance between all these points, like which are shown here. So now these lines are neither parallel to the x-axis nor parallel to the y-axis, but we have to calculate the distance between them. So now in this class, we'll derive how to calculate the distance between them. That is, we'll derive the distance formula, which is a generalized formula to calculate the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane. Right? Let us do. Now I'm taking the first quadrant for simplicity so that you can view this clearly. Now we have two points A and B. Now here they are when you join these two, they are neither, it will, you will have a line neither parallel to the x-axis nor parallel to the y-axis. Now, so that their x-coordinates and y-coordinates are different. Suppose the x-coordinates of the first point are x1, y1, I mean, and the coordinates of B are x2 and y2. Now, our aim is to calculate the distance between A and B. So, you can see this line is neither parallel to the x-axis nor parallel to the y-axis. So, now, as you know, what is the x-coordinate of point A? x1. And what is the y-coordinate of point A? That is y1. Now the x-coordinate of point B is x2. And the y-coordinate of point B is y2. Now to find the distance between them, we will make use of a very very popular theorem which is called Pythagoras theorem using a right angle triangle. So what we do is to calculate the distance between them. Here we will form a right angle triangle by drawing a line parallel to x-axis through A and drawing a line parallel to y-axis through B. Now suppose the intersecting point of these two lines is C. Now you see, now we have to write the coordinates of point C. What is the x-coordinate of C? You can see it very clearly. The x-coordinate of C is x2 and the y-coordinate is y1. So the coordinates of C are x2 and y1. Now here our aim is to calculate the distance from A to B. Now as you know when you see this, this line AC is parallel to X axis. Then if you have a line parallel to X axis, what is the formula to calculate the distance between them? Right, you have to find the difference of their X coordinates. So here it will be and before doing that, let us eliminate this and we will make the screen clearer. Now this is it. So you have to find the distance between them. You will have modulus of x2 minus x1. And what is the distance from B to C? Because this is a line parallel to y axis. Now you have to calculate the difference of the y coordinates which comes to be modulus of y2 minus y1. Now here you have AC as modulus of x2 minus x1 and BC as modulus of y2 minus y1. So here we have a right angle triangle ABC which is right angle let's see. And we have two sides of it, which is uh, AC modulus of x2 minus x1 and BC modulus of y2 minus y1. So let us calculate the distance of, from A to B using Pythagoras theorem. <clears throat> so from Pythagoras theorem, what does Pythagoras theorem say? It says that square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. So here hypotenuse is the side opposite to right angle. So that is hypotenuse and this is side 1 and that is side 2. So instead of, I mean in place of the hypotenuse you can write AB, so it is AB square and here in place of side 1 you can write AC square plus BC square. Now we know that AC is modulus of x2 minus x1. So in place of AC we can write modulus of x2 minus x1 whole square and in place of BC we can write modulus of y2 minus y1 whole square. And here we are squaring these numbers. Whether you get a negative value or a positive value for x2 minus x1, its square is always positive. So instead of writing moduli, we need not, we can ignore the moduli and, we'll and we can write just x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now we want only AB. It has square. So when you transpose the square, you will get square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So what is that you have to do is, you have to find the difference of their x coordinates. And you have to find the difference of their y coordinates. You have to square them, add them and find the square root. So this is the formula to calculate the distance between two points x1, y1 and x2, y2. This is a generalized formula to calculate the distance between any two points in the coordinate plane. You will better understand this when we solve this. So here you have to find the distance between A and B where A is 1, 2 and B is 4, 6. 
so we can write x1 as 1 and x2 as 2 sorry x1 as 1 and y1 as 2 x2 is 4 and y2 is 6 so this is the formula you have to calculate you have to use so when you write 4 minus 1 whole square plus 6 minus 2 whole square so as you know 4 minus 1 is 3 so this is 3 square 6 minus 2 is 4 so this is 4 square and we know that 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16 9 plus 16 is 25 so ab is square root of 25 and we know it is 5 units so this is how you can use this formula to calculate the distance between any two points observe this in these two points neither x coordinates are equal nor y coordinates are equal now let us take another example so here we have taken c 3 1 and g minus 2 1 3 once again you have to write the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square x1 is 3 y1 is 1 x2 is minus 2 y2 is 3 so here when you substitute them minus 2 minus 3 whole square plus 3 minus 1 whole square minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 whole square 3 minus 1 is 2 square minus 5 whole square is 25 2 square is 4 so this is square root of 29 units so that is how you can use this formula to calculate the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane so this is a very very important formula in this coordinate geometry distance between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now i hope you understood this you practice these problems and you solve this you find the distance between the following points and you post this answers to me so this is a very very important formula you practice this square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square it's very simple you have to find the difference of 2x coordinates square it then find the difference of 2y coordinates square it find the sum of these two squares and you have to take the square root of the sum solve this problem practice this it's a very very important formula you have an, ex an entire exercise in your textbook based on this formula so this is very very important this formula has so many applications so you have to practice this very well thank you